Good afternoon everyone. I am Kashish Verma, Executive Member of Media and Public Relations Committee of IIM Raipur. Today we are honored to have with us Prof. Yogesh Chauhan and Prof. Rajesh Patel. So, sir, would you like to share your insights on the research that you conducted? Okay, so uh, we are having a paper that talks about uh, how mandatory CSR uh, regulation have an impact on earning reporting of a company. So if you look at, uh, uh, apart from India, almost on, in any, any other countries, uh, CSR is voluntary in nature, where companies choose to spend on CSR. But in the 2014, uh, Indian government made it compulsory for all the companies to spend on CSR. So whatever profit you are getting, 2% of that profit is supposed to be spent on CSR. So we were thinking earlier that uh, CSR is supposed to be in voluntary nature. You cannot force companies to spend on CSR. So so when somebody forcing me to to uh, spend money, I will try to undercut that expenses. So so that thought we have started this work. So what we have proven in this paper that uh, after the regulations, the companies those are exposed to the regulation, uh, they were undercutting their CSR expenses by reducing their man uh, uh, by managing their earnings. So so the conclusion that we have found from this paper is that uh, you can't force uh, good things you have to, uh, if i feel something is good to the society probably let me do it don't force to me definitely sir forcing is never an option indeed sir so ideally if i you know speak a bit more about the idea that we started with when we were discussing we said csr was used by company as a differentiation strategy before when it was voluntary in nature Right? When company would differentiate themselves by saying, I am more concerned of society and therefore they were spending on it. But the moment you bring a regulation where you ask companies that now you have to mandatorily do it, that becomes a kind of fixed cost for me. And therefore company would try to cut that cost and they lose this differentiation. Because now everybody is doing, so I won't get any benefit by doing this for society additionally. And therefore it started appearing to companies that probably this is not good this is what thought we started with and in fact we ended up finding that companies started because this spending was as a percentage of their profit companies started to under report their profit so that they'll end up spending less on csr activity so this is we said, is this happening? This is a possibility that may happen after this regulation. And in fact, we are And moreover, we have found that uh, companies, those are not getting benefit because of CSR. For example, industrial companies, they involve more in business to be B2B to be businesses. So there, there, there is no role of CSR to create a brand. And we found that companies, those are involved, those are not involved in a, in a, in a business where CSR makes sense to them. They were undercutting more profits. So they are saying that uh, since CSR does not uh, add any value to me, therefore I supposed to reduce it. So they can reduce it by undercutting the exp uh, uh, their, their earnings. So sir, like since this is a very comprehensive research, so can you share the time and the challenges that you faced uh, while conducting this research? So first challenge we faced that uh, it's very difficult to isolate the effect. A lot of factors are there, co-founding factors are there. So when we, we were thinking about our research, so we got a research question supposed to, that we are supposed to address. But we were thinking how I should, I, we should have a research design that can differentiate the effect. So we, we discussed a lot about the research design and uh, I think most majority of time uh, we, uh, we invested in order to identify what could be the best possible research design for our uh, research work. Right. That, that's the only challenge that you face very often in academic research where you want that, okay, this is what I want to measure. Am I able to measure that? Am I using a design or a setup which isolate the impact of what I want to actually study? So that's something and I would, I would say that Professor Yogesh was instrumental in finding that out and doing that. I really appreciate it. So, like, uh, would you like to share how this research will make any contributions or will help the management world in the years coming ahead? So basically, the research is uh, more applicable to the regulators. So, right mm -hmm. now, particularly in the engineering market, uh, the regulators would like to regulate everything. So, our research outcome is 
basically telling them that uh, let the company decide what is the best to them. If you are trying to regulate everything, you are not going to achieve optimal outcome. Optimal outcome can be there if market forces will decide the outcome. So that so our paper mainly not talking to the managers, it's talking to the regulators that you should not regulate everything. Let the market decide what is best to them. It's like by bringing regulation, what is your objective? You want to correct things, but rather you are spoiling it. Particularly when it comes to business ethics, business responsibility, I would say that you cannot legislate them. Let it happen voluntarily by the company to see the right benefits. Else, it would lose its essence. Definitely, sir. So it was wonderful talking to you, Professor, and uh, I again congratulate you on publishing of this paper. Thank you so much for giving us your time.